what is narcissism when you define it? Like what so when we talk about narcissism um, in, the, in the psychological literature, we're talking about three different things that are related. The first of these is narcissistic personality, and this is a, a trait, and meaning that people go from a high level to a low level. It's not a clinical disorder. And then this trait, when it's grandiose, we say grandiose narcissism, it's this combination of sense of entitlement and a sense of superiority, but also you get extroversion and drive and ambition, call it agentic extroversion. So somebody who is driven and extroverted, but also a little bit self-centered and, and antagonistic and entitled. So that combination of traits... Um, there's another form of narcissism, which we don't talk about as much in the normal world, but that's vulnerable narcissism. And these are the folks that are kind of think they're really important, think they should be getting a lot of attention, think they're the smartest people in the room, but no one really looks at them. No one pays attention to them. So they get insecure. They get depressed. Their self-esteem drops. They think, you know, why aren't I getting the attention? I, um, you know, it's a legend in their own minds. Mm. You know, so you talk about it's like basement narcissists, you know, right. living in their bomb, mom's basement, thinking how great they are and fantasizing about it. And then there's this clinical form or psychiatric form called narcissistic personality disorder, NPD. And that personality form of nar personality disorder form of narcissism is an extreme form of narcissism. You have a high level of it, you know, like Trump or, you know, a lot of probably celebrities or, you know, academics. Um, but you also, to make it a clinical disorder, you have to have that impairment we're talking about. So it has to be clinically significant impairment. And that's usually the narcissism is so bad, your, your marriage or your relationships are falling apart. Your work life could be falling apart. So sometimes you find narcissistic, uh, really successful people in, in offices who are narcissists, but they, they kind of destroy the office culture. They're, they're mm. just bad workers. Uh